Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my video. Today I'm in the Pacific Ocean. I'm in the country of the Federated States of Micronesia here in the Western Pacific. I am in one of the states of Micronesia called Yap, the island of Yap, and I'm looking at an extremely historic site. I'm looking at the German communication center that was built in the beginning of the 20th century by the Germans. What were the Germans doing here in the Pacific? Well, it's a long story. So follow me and let's examine the history of this place and let's find the, uh, the remnants of the remaining parts of the communication center. Come on, let's go. So as we're looking into this uh, strange structure here, almost in the middle of the island of Yap in Micronesia. I need to explain to you what this is doing here. In 1898, of course, there was a Spanish-American war that Spain lost. And as a result, Spain was forced to sell the islands and the possessions that Spain had in Micronesia. And Micronesia was sold to Germany, believe it or not. So Micronesia and the island of Yap became a German possession in the beginning of the 20th century. Now the Germans had to create a means of communicating between Micronesia and Europe. And they created this huge communication center. And this is part of the communication center that you see here. There are three columns like this, we're going to see them and they are creating an isosceles triangle. One of them is in the forest and there we'll go find it. And they would create a huge antenna and there will be a huge communication center, which is the high school right there now, Yap High School. And there will be an underground cable going from here to the Philippines and Shanghai, therefore creating almost instant communications with Germany in the beginning of the, of the 20th century. Now, in 1914, just at the beginning of, uh, of the war, the First World War, the British sent a battleship here in Yap and uh, bombarded this huge antenna, destroying it, therefore cutting off communications between Micronesia and the base in Germany. But to make a long story short, at the end of the First World War, possession was passed to Japan since Germany was defeated. And uh, here's one of the columns, towers used for the communication center. Beautiful, look at that. And, uh, and here's the uh, second tower, right in the middle of the campus of the high school here in Yap. You see the trees growing on top. Now the distance between the towers seems to be about 150 meters. And again, they form an isosceles triangle. And it will be hard to go find the one in the forest, which is right behind those buildings in the forested area, but let's go find it. And incredibly enough, I have found the third tower that you see here inside a heavily forested area right there. And this is part of the triangle that the three towers would, were forming. You can see this one has trees growing on top of it. Let's go a little closer. You can see how big it is. incredible piece of history here in Micronesia from the Germans. Germany being thousands and thousands of miles away. Look at that. Now each side is approximately five to six meters. It's a square structure made out of uh, flat pieces of granite right there. There's another tree growing right on the side. Beautiful, beautiful image with a tree on top of it. Incredible. In the far distance, we can see the Yap High School. 
which has been built where the communication center used to be. Now here's a part of Yap High School, the high school here in Yap. It's early in the morning so the students are still arriving. But this is where the central building that was acting as the communication center would be, or was. And this building is right in the center of the isosceles triangle formed by the three towers. You can see it's a brand new high school. So they destroyed the uh, remnants of the old communication center in order to build a high school. Ten years ago, we would have been able to go inside the graffiti-filled German building. No more. Here it is. What an incredible piece of history I just visited here in Yap in Micronesia. Now one would not expect to find anything German here so far from Germany in the Pacific Ocean but here it is, you just saw it, built in the beginning of the 20th century by the Germans to keep communications between their possessions here in the Pacific Ocean and Germany. It is an incredible experience to be here. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, brief documentary, but very, very educational and informative. This is Vic. Bye-bye.